Today we're talking about the difference between a structure and a class. When you Google it, it's literally structs are value types, whereas classes are reference types. When you copy a struct, you end up with two unique copies of data. But when you copy a class, you end up with two references to a singular instance of data. So when I first read that, it made zero sense to me. So let's put it in better terms and actually put it into programming and see what that actually means for us. So first and foremost, let's create a struct. I'll call this example structure. And then let's also create a class. And this is gonna be my example class. And then for each of these, let's go ahead and put a variable that's just going to be an integer. And then for the class, because it feels it's a little special, we need to put an initializer. So let's go ahead and do so. And then we're going to be expecting an integer. So go ahead and do that. And then we'll set that example to the integer that we pass in our initializer here. Next up, in order to actually see what this is doing and the differences between it, we're gonna go ahead and create a couple of variables. So this is going to be var uh, example one will be equal to, and let's put this as an example struct, and then we're gonna give it an integer. And then with that, we're gonna go ahead and say var example two and set that to our example one. So if you were to imagine how this would look, it should be that example one and example two are exactly the same with this integer here being the exact same. So let's go ahead and print those out and make sure that we're right. So build and run that and you should be able to see that example one and example two, their integers are both one. Now the big difference between a structure and a class is this part right here. So we're gonna go ahead and say example one dot example will be equal to two. Now, logically, how do you think that's gonna be? Okay, we set example one as one, we set example two to example struct one, right? So it should just be one. And then we change only the first example to two. So therefore, example one should be two and example two should be one. Build and run that, and that's exactly how that works. But with a class, it's a little different because it's a reference. It's not its own instance. So therefore, let's go ahead and say, instead of example struct, we say example class. And then of course, there's a little bit difference in the initializer here. And if you were to build and run this now, you'll see that they both became two because example two is merely referencing this class that we created. It's not its own class. It's not its own entity. And that's why it's important to know this for Swift UI and for many other applications, because if you overuse a structure, it's copying the data over and over and over again, creating many of its own instances, whereas class may or may not save you a bit of space if used correctly. So there you have it. That's my little, uh, little tidbit for today. So with that being said, see you in the next one.